What's up guys, welcome back to another video. Today we got for you an upper body contrast training session. So contrast training is a method of training where you start with a strength movement followed by a power move of the same musculature, the same movement pattern. So I love training this way, contrast complex, French contrast. Uh, it's a great way to build strength and power at the same time. Also, when you watch the video, Spence and I had to do them at different times. So you'll notice some good clips with like me able to film him as I'm training. Um, and then other times where I'm going old school filming myself. So hopefully it's not too bad. Um, I will throw a voiceover in there to give some cues for exercises because I wasn't able to talk super or talk a lot during this video at all. Um, so hopefully that's, that helps and it's not too bad. So if you guys enjoy it, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. We post new videos every Tuesdays and Thursdays, so make sure you're subscribed to catch all of them. Hope you guys like it. All right, so kicking it off, we got T-Rex T's. The biggest thing here is just making sure you keep a nice tight core and just try to pull your shoulder blades together. Um, just feel all the muscles in your back, shoulders, arms working. Um, I do this just as an activation. So like I said, just pull your shoulder blades together uh, and then open up your chest big. All right, shoulder taps. So here um, you're tapping each shoulder with the opposite arm and you wanna keep your hips nice and stable. You don't want them wiggling a lot. You wanna squeeze your core, keep your body nice and tight. All right, so I love landmine split jerks. Um, the keys here that I tell people, uh, it's a power movement derived by the legs. So the arm is just gonna be an extension of what you derive from your legs. Um, so bend your knees slightly just to get that load. Lean into the bar, you'll notice I push up on my toes and just lock out your arm at the end. Barbell row, the biggest thing here, do not let your back bow. You will feel a lot of pressure in your back if you aren't doing it correctly. So don't lift a weight that's way too heavy. Um, and then pull-ups, you don't really need much explaining. Try not to swing a lot, try to get them strict. If you can't, you can do assisted with the band if you want, um, but yeah, try to make them good. And then split stance, med ball, rainbow slam with a step. You'll see you load to your back hip when you're in this split stance. Bring it around and then slam it. Um, to that side as you step outward. Uh, so try to do this as um, explosively as possible. Uh, we wanna lift with intent. Tall kneeling dumbbell press. So when you do a tall kneeling, that means your butt is not touching your heels. You're in a tall kneel. Uh, keep your core tight. Don't let your back bend. Uh, just lift straight up. You want your arms to end with your biceps by your ears, just like Spencer is. Um, don't lift a weight that's too heavy that you can't do that uh, proper form. And then split stands, single arm landmine press. I think you guys have seen this one over and over. One of my favorites, a staple in all my programs. Just drive it straight up, keep your core tight. When you go split stance, you're gonna have to really call in your obliques and your core uh, to add, the, add that uh, balance element into it. But just drive it straight up. You don't want your elbow swinging out wide. If it is, the weight might be a little bit too heavy for you. And then we got the supine med ball chest pass. I love this one. Uh, as you can see, someone's on the ground, you stand above them, drop that med ball, they have to <laughs> toss it up as fast as they can. And if it's about to fall on them, then you can just like get that thing out of the way. Um, unless you want it to fall on them. I have done that to some people sometimes and it's hilarious. Chest press ISO. So you are pushing into the box as hard as you can. Eight seconds, actively use your chest. This one is hard if you do it correctly, but you really have to focus on it. Um, and then resistance band press with a step. As you can see, you just explosively press out that band, step forward, um, squeeze your core at the top. Don't let the band yank you back. You can also do this with a cable, but we don't have a cable machine because that is expensive. Ab rollouts, um, keep your core nice and tight. Obviously ab exercise, don't let your back bend. Try not to pull with your shoulders. If you can't do this one, you could always do rollouts with a stability ball. Um, or some other exercises. And then Russian twist with an extension. This one is courtesy of Spencer. Uh, Russian twist on each, on each side, extend back, bring yourself back up to the starting position. Uh, continue that. So twist, twist, extend is one rep. You guys got 10 of them. So hopefully you enjoyed this. Sorry about the clips. Hopefully they weren't too confusing going back and forth between day and night. But yeah, hopefully you liked it.